What's up everyone and welcome back to Movie Race. All over the world, people say shadow hunters come back is unlikely. Is it true? If you don't know about the Shadow Hunter season 4 update, don't worry, I'm here. I've got some shocking news about the return of the show, so stick around and let's find out. Shadow Hunters, based on Cassandra Clare's well-liked book series, The Mortal Instruments, narrates Clary Frey's story. Clary, a seemingly ordinary girl, uncovers a hidden realm of supernatural creatures on her 18th birthday. She's a shadow hunter, a mix of angel and human, tasked with battling demons to safeguard humanity and the world. The show aired for three seasons on Freeform, concluding in 2019. During an exclusive interview with Screen Rant to promote her upcoming film, There's Something Wrong with the Children, Wainwright delves into the potential revival of the beloved supernatural series Shadow Hunters. She highlights the ongoing resonance of the show among fans and their enduring connection to it. Moreover, she elaborates on the complexities tied to the ownership of the series and presents her perspective on why the chances of a revival are slim. Alicia Wainwright I forget who owns the rights to it. It's all very interesting when you get into the math of who has the right to distribute. But I do know that a lot of the cast members do these conventions if you want to see them. No one's approached me about any sort of reunion, but it's way more complicated than you think in order to get it going again. But obviously, Shadowhunters has a very special place in my heart. I learned so much about acting and the craft, and it just would be really cool to get everyone back together. It breaks my heart when I see it trending on Twitter. You guys don't understand. You have to make literally so many bigwigs sign off on the same thing. I just don't think it's gonna happen, you know? By the way guys, don't forget to give a thumbs up for this video, and for more updates, smash the subscribe button. Let's see what a Shadowhunters revival looks like. Even though Shadowhunters concluded in 2019, fans are eager for the story to carry on. Yet, according to Wainwright's remarks, a revival doesn't appear probable. The issue of ownership adds complexity, creating hurdles that are both challenging and potentially expensive to overcome. Nevertheless, various shows have experienced unforeseen revivals even after years. Despite the seeming unlikelihood due to the ongoing fan backing, the prospect isn't entirely ruled out. As the final episode of Shadowhunters concluded the main storylines, it also led the foundation for a new order in the world it depicted. Alec assumes the role of Inquisitor of the Clave and is wedded to Magnus, who takes up the position of High Warlock of Alicante. Isabel succeeds Alec as the leader of the New York Institute and is romantically involved with Simon, who becomes a downworlder deputy of the Institute. Luke reverts to being a shadow hunter, and Maya steps into the role as Alpha of the Werewolf Pack. Although most characters attain a contentious conclusion, Clary loses her memories related to the shadow world, and Jace struggles to move on. However, in the concluding moments, Clary's ability to see Jace is restored, hinting at the return of her memories. These developments create intriguing opportunities for the Shadow World in case a Shadow Hunter's revival becomes a reality. The potential revival might focus on Clary's potential journey to regain her memory by earning the Angel's forgiveness and confidence. It would also be captivating to witness how the new generation manages coexistence within the Shadow World. Introducing a fresh threat could reunite the original team, and this could offer Clary a chance to demonstrate her worthiness for re-embracing the role of a shadow hunter should she choose to do so. However, Matthew Daddario, who played Alec Lightwood in Shadow Hunters, has revealed whether or not he will return to the franchise. Across the entire three seasons of the show, Daddario's role was that of Alec Lightwood, a determined and committed shadow hunter. Alec carried a deep sense of responsibility for his family. His character also grappled with his hidden identity as a gay shadow hunter and later developed a romantic bond with a warlock, Magnus Bane. This relationship played a significant role in the series and contributed to Shadow Hunters receiving four nominations for Glad's Outstanding Drama Series, ultimately securing the award in 2017. In a special conversation with Screen Rant, Daddario shares that he would be willing to rejoin the franchise under specific circumstances. 
He explains that several factors would influence his decision, encompassing the quality of the material, the crew involved, and the production process. While Daddario emphasizes the necessity of a serious commitment to undertake another Mortal Instruments adaptation, he also discloses his genuine enthusiasm for the prospect of returning to the franchise. It depends on so many factors. You need to have good material. You need to have good people involved. You need to have good production. Then you need to somehow organize all of that. There's a lot that would play into that, but if somebody decided this is the kind of thing that they want to make, I'd certainly consider it. I'd evaluate it the same way I'd evaluate anything else, except with a little more enthusiasm, obviously. Although there are no current whispers of a new Mortal Instruments adaptation, fans of Shadowhunters remained incredibly devoted to the show and put up a strong fight for its continuation. In 2018, when news broke that the series would conclude after three seasons, dedicated fans launched a campaign to rescue the show. They even placed a billboard in Times Square urging people to employ the hashtag, hashtag Save Shadowhunters to raise awareness about the show's cancellation. Despite their valiant efforts, the series was eventually met with cancellation. Nevertheless, Shadowhunters continues to hold a significant position among Freeform's most prominent shows. Given that the author Cassandra Clare continues to write new installments within various spin-offs of the Mortal Instruments, including the Eldest Curses series that exclusively focuses on Alec and Magnus's joint adventures, there remains ample potential for additional Mortal Instruments content to be adapted for the screen. While the initial Mortal Instruments series has already been attempted through both film and TV adaptations, neither of which garnered particularly favorable responses from the fans, the future iteration of the franchise might explore a different facet of the Mortal Instruments universe. With Daddario potentially showing interest in reprising his role, there's a chance that Shadowhunters fans could witness Alex's return in a new context. So at that time, it is clear that Shadowhunters Season 4 will not come to fruition. On the other hand, Save Shadowhunters grabs the world's attention. Is there another fan community quite like that of Shadowhunters? The series artfully brought Cassandra Clare's characters to life, crafting gripping narratives on television. The cast, writers, and crew dedicated themselves passionately to the show, a sentiment that resonated with countless individuals. Upon learning about the cancellation, fans understandably experienced a mix of shock, sorrow, and disappointment. However, these emotions evolved into unity, solidarity, and proactive involvement. The fandom channeled their responses into creative expressions, fundraising endeavors, and grassroots initiatives to advocate for a turnaround. Certain initiatives encompassed billboards, subway ads, and a remarkable fundraising achievement of nearly $30,000 for the Trevor Project. Freeform acknowledged the charitable endeavors of the Shadowhunters fanbase and responded with a $25,000 donation to the Trevor Project. The Shadowhunters community reciprocated by dedicating a lasting presence in Central Park, a bench installed as a symbol of appreciation for their fans' unwavering support and affection. Similar to the characters within the series, the Shadowhunters fan community endeavors to create a better world for everyone. The cast and creators readily express their deep respect and admiration for the show's fans. The unique impact that Shadowhunters had on the fanbase is truly unparalleled. Todd Slavkin acknowledged not just the community's charitable endeavors, but also their eagerness to uncover behind-the-scenes narratives. My Life in the Shadow World, Reflections of a Television Showrunner shares Slavkin's perspective from behind the camera. All proceeds from the book will be directed to the Trevor Project and Mental Health America in honor of the Shadowhunters' legacy. Furthermore, the cast of Shadowhunters is far from elusive when it comes to engaging with fans around the world. They actively participate in various conventions that help sustain both the community and the spirit of the series across different parts of the globe. Well, that's it for today. So what are your thoughts on the potential revival of Shadowhunters? Do you believe we'll ever witness the return of the Shadow World in a new form? Share your insights in the comments below.